If you listen, first of all, you take the time to put yourself in someone else's shoes. And so you're not already coming up with your point of view and your answer. It's just an easy way to ensure that different people have their, uh, their opinions and points of view. One of the best ones that I was given uh, was actually by my mother who said, you know, everyone talks about focus and you have to be so focused and driven and, you know, stay your course. But actually, she said, if you look around and make sure that you don't close yourself off from opportunities that come out of left field or, or right field, um, you may realize that actually you find a new path for yourself. And, uh, and in many ways it worked for me. When I was uh, in the US working for Vogue magazine, I wanted to move more into the business side of the industry. But digital had just never occurred to me. And yet I interviewed with a startup that was in e-commerce before the word startup even existed and before digital and e-commerce was a thing. And, uh, and I thought, well, why not? I'll take this. Completely different to anything I was doing. And I'm so glad I did that because that got me into the, uh, the path I'm now on. Everything's shifting and everyone's trying to figure out their place in the industry. And so whilst you could think of it as challenges and blockers, it's actually exciting white space to, uh, to figure out what the future looks like. And it's everything from uh, digital disruption and direct-to-consumer and the role of social media platforms that have completely changed the way the fashion industry presents its product. We have three business pillars at the British Fashion Council. Our mission overall is to harness the collective power in the industry to enable growth. And we do that through education, through business and through reputation. But on the business specifically, um, looking at how we can create an investment ecosystem that can take the brands not only from early stage, to borrow a word from the tech industry, but really how do the brands get from that um, middle stage to acceleration and scale. So that's one area that I'd like to look at. I think another uh, area to really look at for me uh, is to understand really the role of Fashion Weeks and how we can continue to make that uh, relevant and, uh, and exciting and create uh, uh, a moment in time that creates oxygen for the industry so that it has content and storytelling for the rest of the year.